Hi people, I'm Espen Kraft, and this is the Akai S700 sampler from 1987, my first sampler. And I love it dearly, and today I'm going to show you why. The S700, my first sampler, and I love it. Technically I had the X7000, but the S700 is the module version, from 1987. With a quick disk system that's totally wrecked on this one, as it is on most other units by now, the quick disk never took on. And uh, So a quick overview of the uh, features, you can play monophonically or polyphonically, you can start and unloop your samples, you can tune them, transpose them. One shots reverse, you have some LFOs and you have the filter, a warm analog filter, that's the main thing. You can tune the whole thing and you can trigger the uh, sampling by auto and audio triggers. You have monitoring output, you have an, an output at the front, but you also have an output in the back, as you will see. You have the control wheel that was featured on many samplers from Akai after this one. And on the back you have a voice out, 13 pin out, which you can input to the AX73 or VX90 from Akai, those analog synths to do further manipulation. You have the line out as you have on the front of the unit, you have some MIDI, you can change programs by foot switch, and you have a contrast uh, pot for the display. So let's turn it on and do some sampling, which is very simple on the S700, one of the fastest and most easy samplers to use. First it wants you to load some samples, but you just press the new button and you're in sampling mode. Sample 1 and it's placed at C3, which you can change, and the bandwidth is 6.3 kHz, that's the default. But that you can change up to 16 kHz at the top, and more importantly you can lower it down to 1.6, and it's in the lower rates that the magic really happens. But for this tutorial we'll start off in the 16 kHz mode. You press new again and you get presented by a bar meter on the display. And by inputting the sound you can see if it clips or not on the input stage. If it does you have to adjust the recording level. And by adjusting that little cursor there you can adjust the auto threshold for sampling. When you press new again it will be in sampling mode and the input level exceeds this cursor and you're in sampling. And at the highest bandwidth, your recording is done very quickly. And you can play it right away. That's it, that's a C3. And that's the original voice of the Monopoly. And that's the looped version, the auto-looped version of the S700. So the loop point uh, by default isn't very nice, so we'll try to get a better loop point uh, when we edit the sound somewhat. But uh, at full bandwidth this sampler isn't as fun as sampling on lower uh, bandwidths, so we'll sample this again uh, at a lower rate and we'll do the looping tutorial from there. So let's do this one more time, but this time we'll lower the bandwidth considerably down to 4 kHz and do the sampling session all over. And now we'll hear the really different and fun part. That's the original from the Monopoly. You see it's much more sampling time now and recording done. And now we're talking. And now we can adjust the loop point to find a better one. So at one press of the loop button we can do a course adjustment of the loop point. And um, experience has told me that uh, about half the uh, time of the original sample is a good point to find the actual loop point. So by pressing the loop button again we can do uh, go into find the resolution of finding the loop point. And there's a nice spot. And let's add some effects to the sound as well and adjust the release time.
and adjust the filter and now the sampler comes to life. Now the magic happens. more of this anthem the YouTube algorithm will kick in and ask me to monetize the video and let's not do that okay let's do another uh, sample uh, of the Monopoly uh, bell sound this time which I'll use in my demo later in the tutorial so stay on let's do this at 12 kilohertz to, to keep some of the high end that's the original and the same procedure don't clip the input. And let's do it. And there's the S700. I'll keep the filter totally open to preserve the high end, but still get that little crunch from the 12 bit storage. And here's another sound I've sampled to be used as an arpeggiator later on. I've set the S700 up in monophonic mode for this. And now something completely different. Ow. Ow. 
I feel like an idiot, but uh, the results are pretty nice. So all these sounds I've sampled in the tutorial will now be used in this demo track I've made to showcase the magic of the S700.